one in all. I just made a start on this and then remembered I should probably be filming. <laughs> so, yeah, we're tackling the plumbing today. I've just been out, it's not raining now, and the drive, the clay that we moved yesterday, is actually starting to firm up which I was getting a bit worried about it because when we finished it was like a spring or a trampoline basically in other words nothing would be able to drive on it did I do that right? no I didn't hold well on <laughs> so yeah hopefully we'll be able to get a bit more of that done today um, but for now, you get to watch some amateur plumbing action. You saw the mistake I just made there, which is when you're using this stuff, the sealing tape, PTFE, whatever it is. Yeah, PTFE tape. Go make sure you put it on the right direction so that it tightens with the threads rather than loosens hang on the tag end of that righty tighty so that's going to be pulling it tighter I just did it the other way which means if I go righty tighty as I start tightening in it'll do that which we don't want so I do need to invest in a middle size adjustable spanner that's become apparent because we go from this which is too small and this goes up to 38 from this to this which is a little bit on the big side for jobs like this but you know what I've got. We don't want to over tighten this because that wouldn't be good. Quite expensive. Not horrific, but not cheap either. All of this gubbins. Right. It's basically just stacking parts, pretty much. Now, Please don't ask me any questions on plumbing because I really don't know anything. I just put things together and if it doesn't leak, mission success. Which I guess is all that plumbing is really. But yeah, as for tips and tricks, it is not my strong point. Once we get this done, we'll put that on and then we get to the heating cable, which is the next bit. Yeah, I hope we've got enough of the heating cable. We asked for 10 metres and we've got about 8.5. I think it was a bit difficult to measure it, but yeah, I don't know. We're just going to have to see how it goes really I'd prefer it if we don't have to heat the whole thing because it's just going to end up using a load of power oh that's better so yeah this is going to get us down to about the driveway um, but then he said you probably want to heat the driveway where it crosses over but I don't know This heater cable is about five pound a meter, works out to roughly. Um, and this whole project is beginning to get quite expensive. I mean, like this piece here is about 50 quid on its own. <laughs> so, it's starting to get silly. I think we're going to have to buy some stone as well outside so I don't know how much that's going to cost but 
yeah, we're getting into daft territory now. So hopefully this heater pipe, this heater cable will be all right. The only thing we're actually concerned about is this bit here, because that goes diagonally and it's a lot closer to the surface than the rest of it. So that's the only bit I was worried about really. And that's covered, that's plenty covered with this length. But how the driveway fares up, I don't know. And then we can't do this one yet because this compresses that joint. I suppose we need some tape on that as well, but that can wait. So that's now ready to go. I'm not going to put the end on yet. We've got a few more bits, but I think our old hose pipe connection will go in there and then we can just clip the hose on for now. Right, so now this needs to go on there. We did actually have another connection on here. That's why it's squashed a little bit. I'm hoping this is going to still work because we started with this one and then it evolved into this one. <laughs> so we're going to take this piece back. He said that's all right to take that back. So hopefully this pops over. Right. Is that all the way on? I think it is. It should be. What I don't want to do is have to cut this again really because I don't have the special cutter anymore. We borrowed that off the guy to do the job. And all I can do is hacksaw this and then all the plastic is going to go down into the pipe. So that is 38, 37. So then we need to measure, how do we do that? <laughs> need to put a mark, don't we? Make sure it's all the way in. 37 is there. And that will tell us if we are bottomed out, which we are, that's good. Right. And that bit goes into there and we'll clamp down. This looks kind of cool. <laughs> Retro. All right, now we need the special tool that I did have to borrow again. Shit. Which is this one. It's like, clamps all the way. I mean, you could use an adjustable on this, but it'll probably wreck it. So we borrowed the proper thing. These are very tight to do up because it squashes the plastic and crimps the line. We're probably going to need some assistance from the big spanner. <sighs> Soon know if it's leaking, won't we? Is that it? And <laughs> oh, that's definitely it. <laughs> All right. So can that go? <sighs> it's a very stiff pipe. This is. That can sit there. And that is a tap. <laughs> Wait, is that, that's on, so we want off to start with. I'll cable tie that. Mm, maybe I should put that higher and do it to the brass, actually. That seems like a better idea. I 
imagine the proper brackets you can get for this stuff, but this is just out of the parts box. So that's about straight there. And we want that. Pointing straight down. I suppose I can tie that at the bottom and that'll hold that. How should we do this then? Through there, through there. It's a little bit big, isn't it? Kind of a waste. Hold on. That's a bit more suitable. to go to a switch with a you get them switches with the lights on them I want to try and use one of them to power it um, and have the switch near it so you know we know when it's on because so I don't know exactly how much this is going to pull power wise he said it depends how cold it is but I don't know if he really knew what I meant. Whatever. So what we've got with this is two cables in the centre and then the earth is around the outside. So we need to strip back the outer sleeve. Can we do that with the tool? I hope so. Let's just have a go and see how it does. Oops. Try it at the end first. Oh, it doesn't even fit in my thing. That's brilliant. Brilliant, we're gonna need a knife. Let's just try a gentle. It's really hard cable this is, it's not like normal wire. I suppose it's gotta be waterproof, hasn't it? Sure, there is probably a special tool that you can get that does this if you do it often. I'm just practicing here because I don't want to do it in the right place and then risk cutting through the old lock because then we'll have bare wires where we don't want them. through all of the earth which, <laughs> that's what we don't want to do okay I don't know if you can see from there probably not the earth is like open stranded around it and then you have to put the sleeve on yourself and then you got another layer the two heater cables inside and then more stuff 
It says you're supposed to warm it up. All right, let's try and cut this again. So, it says to come back about 10 centimeters. So if we go a bit extra, seeing as I just screwed it up. So 10 is to the end of that, isn't it? We go 10 from there, so I'm about to put a finger. And I'll just try and gently score that. See if that works. That's tough stuff. Yeah, that metal case is like glued to the inside of that. Right, so. Now what we do is get all of these extra bits together. The earth part. Put them to the side, twizzle them up. And that is going to become our earth cable. And then we need to leave a centimetre gap here so that it can't touch these cables which need to be heated before we take it off. So this is the actual heating part. This is obviously going to be outside of the pipe. I'm not too worried about this part. The bit I'm worried about is capping the other end properly. It shows you how to do it, but it's just heat shrink. You'd think it would have something a bit better. Okay, is that sufficiently... Oh, yes. All right, now we should be able to use this and just pop that off. So off. That's not gone that well. I do apologise, I'm not sure at which point the camera went dead. I was too busy concentrating on this, but we got it out and we are just sealing up these wires with the heat shrink.
That's one. And then the earth one goes on there. Stay in place. But yeah, the sun's coming out. It's a miracle. Ah, that's why it should have been smaller. Oh well. I think we can actually... It's not really shrinking that well. Ah, it's supposed to clamp. Oops. Heat that up a bit more. Supposed to do that. That makes more sense. <laughs> and that's it, I think, for that end. Although I think I'm just going to stick a bit more down the bottom here. Just to be extra sure. If I can. Again, this segment here is going to be out of the water, so it's fine. This doesn't need to be waterproof. This is the one going in the water, so we need to strip it back a bit more. 15mm with the red, and then 10mm off camera because this takes flipping ages to get off. So what we're going to be doing here is putting this piece on and then clamping the end of it so it seals up. Now I've got some flat pliers that don't have grips in them. I think that should work better. Heat this up. What's up? What's up? Do not distract me right now. This is the... Uh... Hey, that's my tool. What do you mean? <laughs> it's my tool. This is the end that's going in the water. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, so you have to seal it all up. And heat the end. It's very close. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Oh, I see. Melting. I know, I'm going to squash it. way flat that way and please don't stick to the pliers Ooh. Nice. vatten proof what's that bit there sticking out that's the earth oh. that's in the outside now we're going to fold that like that is to sand the cable. Okay. What 
empty mill. Oh, I guess this is so that it can grip better. So this one goes over there and over the earth up to there. And that's going to hold that on. Okay, and then we're doing another one. Why have we got extra? What's that? Okay, so we're putting this thing over the old lot. Like that. And then we're doing that on the end. And crimping it as well. As an extra security, it says. I like extra security. Apparently, this isn't normal heat shrink. It says it's got glue in it. So that'll be what that stuff leaking out the end was. Okay, and then we're going to do this big one. Clamp that over the end as well. I mean, I suppose if this doesn't work, the worst that will happen is it will just short out, won't it? And blow the, uh, what's it? But, hopefully that doesn't happen. Right, that looks pretty well sealed to me. Yeah, see the clear stuff coming out, it's got like glue inside. We'll let that dry and then we're gonna put it in. I've took the whole valve out. It's just a piece of rubber. I think it'll be hard work trying to feed this through it. But that is in there, and then we start feeding outside. Very strange putting electricity inside a water pipe, but here we are. I tried to have a look on YouTube how to you know, let's see if someone done it so I can get some tips. But pretty much everyone had it wrapped around. I couldn't find any. I didn't look for very long, but <laughs> I'm sure they're out there somewhere. All right, we're gonna get this right down so we get every last centimeter out there. Ooh, let's not let that go all the way in. That'd be bad. So, rubber pit. Definitely glad I did it this way. Not trying to squeeze the whole cable through there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that is very tight. So, I think we can have this right down, can't we? Maybe a bit. Oh, actually, yeah, because then that'll be buried in there. Then we've got the washer there. That all just sits inside there. And then this bit squashes that rubber and seals it. Do I need tape on that? I don't suppose I do, really, do I? Because then it's not really... Oh, I'll put a bit on just to be safe. 
it can't hurt can it to put a bit of tape on there Clamp this thing down nice and solid. I think that's it. That's pretty tight on there. I'm not going to plug this in yet. So this is off. I'm going to go turn on the main tap outside. Definitely off, is it? No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's on. That's on. The main feed water is on. And nothing bad's happening yet. I've grabbed this hose pipe. Now, I don't actually know if I'm even going to be able to fit this on. We had this system in the other place. Yeah, I'll just put this on temporary for now because it. We don't have the right adapter to do a quick connection. Yes. We need to get the proper thing. I'm doing the film. Well, yeah, this is a momentous occasion. The water's on. Is it? And it's not leaking. Oh, that's so good. So. Can you feel it being a bit cold or? Well, no, I'm guessing the pipe's full of air. Yeah, maybe it is. So. Oh, yeah. Looks like that's bent. It is. Okay. I had to bend it to get the tap straight. Mm. It's really hard pipe, isn't it? Okay, shall we, should we, should we, should we Go for do it. it? Okay, which way do I pull it? Towards, Towards you. Towards me, okay. All the way down. Always. That's a good sound. It's probably going to be coming backwards. <laughs> this hose didn't have any leaks, did it? Yeah. I don't remember that. Huh? It's open. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> that pressure's not too bad, is it? Yeah, this is kinked as well. Yeah. It's got some kinks in it because it's old. So weird. Water from the workshop. That's just insane. <laughs> God, I just want to run around and watch everything. Well, what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to, we're going to let it run through. Yeah. If we take the end off, it'll not like that. <laughs> oh, you trying to let me go out with it? Now we're going to see if we've got enough pressure to fill the tank. I mean, this is a really long-winded test as well, because if we actually plumb it in with pipes, it's not going to be coming up the flipping stairs. Oh yeah, easy. Easy. Oh wait, no, it's grey, it's grey, it's grey. Where is it? We, uh, it's full. Hmm. So don't go crazy. I need to see, check the pressure. Okay. Well here, I'll put it in there. Just do it in this one, right? Even though this is going to look redundant in a second. as it was. But also it's going vertically upstairs. Oh no, it's coming back. I mean... Water. Yeah. That's what I think that's it, that's been enough pressure for a tap that is crossed. Let's fill the tank. Let's fill the tank for the first time in a very long time. Oh wait. What? Yeah, I know. Let's go in the hole. Yeah, I know. A bit of a, a bit of a waffy waffy. Yes. Now we've got to be careful not to overfill it because yeah. the top's open. A bit of torch or something. So we're gonna see. But now, now, now we just have to get the pipe, the right pipe, to do plumbing from there and it will come up just there mm. and go straight to the tap. Boom. Water. 